What's up everybody, my name is Kasper Nørgaard and today we are taking a look at another smartphone lens from BlackEye. Earlier this year I made a review of the cinema wide lens from BlackEye which you can find up here. Today we are looking at the Combo G4 lens which consists of two lenses and one clip-on. The first lens is a wide angle called wide G4 and the second is a macro lens called macro G4. I have placed some links down below where you can buy this one. These lenses were sent to me for free but I will still get you my honest opinion about this product. The clip itself is the same as the previous version which is made out of hard plastic and it feels really robust and the spring is very strong so when you clip it onto your smartphone you will get a really tight fit and it won't fall off. Let's take a look at the YG4 lens first. This is a wide angle lens closer to getting a fisheye effect without being a completely fisheye. A wide angle in general makes you capture much more in your footage. For example if you are in a really tight space and you want more background in your pictures. You just clip on this lens and you will change the focal length and by that uh, get a wider framing. Both of these lenses are great in pictures and in videos as well. So I just made a little setup where I test the distortion and the image quality of the lenses. And as you can see the standard picture is very clear and uh, is not distorted at all. As soon as we get the G4 lens on you can see that the picture is very distorted. This is not good to take uh, so close a picture to uh, an object. But here you can see how the picture will curve and also take a look at the edges. The, the middle of the picture is, is pretty clear and sharp but the edges is very blurry and this will not be a problem when you zoom out and uh, and take a picture of uh, a forest or something else. Compared to the cinema wide lens you can see that the picture is much more like the standard without uh, a clip on and the edges are still a bit blurry but the, the middle is, is quite good. Right here at the end I have put in a picture that shows the effect of the wide G4 and as you can see it's not a big thing that the edges are a little bit blurry because the sensor is sharp and there's a lot ha happening in this picture so it doesn't matter that the edges are a bit blurry when, when you have a picture like this. The macro lens is much smaller than the wide angle lens and the macro effect makes you able to take really close up pictures or videos of your subject. This could be a close up of flowers, insects, fabrics to see the details that you maybe can't even focus on with your eye. In general, macro means that you can get really close to your subject and capture the details. Try it with your current phone, open the camera and find the object that you want to take a picture of and see how close you can get to the object and still have focus in the picture. If you apply the macro G4 lens, you are able to keep up with the focus and you can get even closer to the subject. And by that, you can get the details very close in these pictures. So right now I'm about 15 centimeters from the, the camera on the table. And if we zoom in this or put this one closer, we can see how close we can get. This is about the closest we can get to this video. And when we put on the macro lens, let's see how close we can get. This is with the macro lens on and you can see now that we can continue to get closer. I guess this is now the closest distance and as you can see it's pretty close to the subject because of that. This is the distance which is about the same distance like a finger. When you use this lens, you're not able to take pictures of a subject that is a far distance from the lens. Macro means you have to get close. This is why the Combo G4 is great. You are able to get really close-ups with the Macro G4 and a normal framing without any of these lenses with your camera and taking even wider footage with the wide G4 lens. 
By that, you're totally covered with these two lenses. If you want even more, I know that Black Eye also makes a tele lens, which makes you able to shoot subjects from a longer distance because this zooms the pictures by 2.5 times without affecting the quality of the pictures. When you sometimes zoom on your smartphone before taking a picture, you will actually make the quality of the picture much worse because you're using a digital zoom instead of an optical zoom. Anyway, the lens is called Pro Portrait Tele G4. I can't tell you more about this lens because I haven't tried it yet. If we compare all my lenses from Black Eye, it's clear to see that there is a size difference. The wide G4, this one, is a bit wider than the cinema wide angle. So in this test right here, I want to test the iPhone 7 with the cinema wide lens for uh, smartphones and the G wide from both from black eye lenses. Now I've started the iPhone 7 footage and as you can see, the footage is uh, with the cameras in the frame. And when I place this cinema wide lens on top, this is the result. And this is without. This is the wide G4 lens and this is without the lens. You can see how much it crops in. But this one also distorts the image a bit because it's, it, this gets a small fisheye effect. Another thing that is a difference is the protecting cap of the lens. On my first lens, the Cinema Wide, they made a really nice metal cap. And on the G G4 models, they replaced this one with a soft plastic. I really like the feeling of the metal cap, but I would say that the plastic cap is more firm and secure on the G4 lenses. And let's face it, it's all about protection of your lenses. So. I guess that's why they want to change it, because this one is a bit loose. In general, I will still recommend you to use the lenses without a cover on your smartphone, because it's easier to get the lens attached perfect over the camera lens when there is not a cover in its place. If you put the lens over the camera lens and it doesn't cover the camera lens perfectly, the image will actually get a bit blurry. And that's not only a problem with this lens, but it's a common problem on clip-on lenses. You have to get the smallest cover to get less distance from the lens. If there are some things that I would change, it would be making the lenses, lenses the same size so you can use one sized lens cap when you want to switch between the lenses and protecting the lenses as well. The second thing is that I would include a clip so you have two clips. So you don't have to unscrew this one, put on the caps, taking off the caps of this one, screw it on, taking off the front cap and replace it over your smartphone once again. In my previous video about the wide angle, a follower asked me if I could use this cinema wide with the newer iPhones. And I have tested this, these, all of these three lenses on the iPhone XS, XR and 8 and they worked fine. I have the iPhone 7 myself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this could help you decide if a black eye lens was a product for you. Please hit that like button below, leave me a comment if you have any, and hit that bell button below if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. So don't miss that chance and I hope to see you in the future!